not getting robbed here. Not with this dog here. And if they do, God help them. Whoever tries robbing this house, so, that dog will leave you in a bad way. That one sacrifice, you will stop dreaming and start living. What do you want in your marriage? What do you want in your health? What do you want financially? How much money do you want to make a year? What do you want to try? How do you want to live? Stop just waking up like an accident. What do you want? And then once you find out what you want, spend the rest of your natural life waking up and going after it. Good morning, Joseph. Good morning. It's a cold one this morning, isn't it? Very cold this morning. Very cold. No the door yet, so... Waiting for the rest of the team. We've got the show on the road. Where are we going? America. Whereabouts in America? Going to New York, um, Long Island, New Jersey, and Atlanta. Excited for it. Yeah, can't wait. Big trip, but end of the year. Smash it. That's cool. Come oh, well, on, end of year wrap up. I need to go for my case, I forgot a t-shirt. The work starts now. Jute's arrived in USA. It's 7 a.m. We're going to get a taxi over to the clients and start the handover process. Can I get a picture with you? Yeah, of course. Hey, good boy. Good joke. Sit. Sit. Good boy. It's a long trip. How you doing? All right? Good boy. Cheers for that. All right. Um, can we take that out? Yes. Um, Joe, yes. can we take that out? Yeah, yeah. How you doing? Oh, hey, you nice Peter. to meet you, alright? Nice to meet you. Hi. Hi. Yeah, yeah. Oh, nice to meet you. Hi. Nice to meet you. Oh, you are adorable. Oh, my God. Oh, so my God. Hi. Oh, you are the cutest little thing. Oh, my God. He has nothing to know, nothing in his face. No, nice to oh, meet you. Nice to meet you, yes. Hi, Tony. How are you? Yeah, not bad, you. Oh, my God. Look at you. Exactly. How are you doing, alright? So after a really long flight, 
and a lot of stress, the first thing we always do is take the dog on a nice long walk. There's a load of energy to burn, the dog's excited, a bit unsure where he is. So just take them on a nice walk with a client, get the dog familiar with where he is, and then we can go on to doing a bit of work. It's heavy. Oh, wow. <laughs> this one's so much nicer than ours. <laughs> <laughs> we got a crappy little beware of dog. I like this one. That's quite heavy. It's got three, um, three holes in it. So you, oh, can I love that. so you can screw it straight into the gate. It's heavy though. This I is, love it. This is nice. I like Can this. You have your head? <laughs> <laughs> Come inside with your jack thumb. We look for it. I think we got the front gates <laughs> and the entrance. Yeah. Supplement. We use this. Put in the food? Yeah. This is got just it. the natural supplement. Where's We've the got two uh, scoops Esther, in there. So right. Esther. Yes, sir. This is the supplement for the food. Now we're, we're gonna, I'm going to show you what we do now. Yeah, sure. Then we'll and then you'll tell us okay. if it works or if it doesn't work. Perfect. So now we're going to get an understanding of what their system is that they currently have at the moment. What they do with their dogs, what their routine is, work out how we implement Duke into that routine and put it all together. It's not about rushing the process and getting the dogs in the same house instantly. This is their house. These dogs have been here 15 years. It's very important that we do this correctly and no one gets injured. So we're going to understand it, meet the dogs and then put a good plan together. So the good thing is we'll do an introduction through the fence for now. Right. Yeah, we'll do an introduction. And then if we can, I'll probably put him on a lead and just walk them around the garden together. Right. If that's okay. No. <laughs> so much energy I've seen him have in a while. Uh, we won't go out with him, we'll just keep Come him here, around Baron. here. Come here, baby. Darren. Oh, he's oh, I can't even. Yeah, his, his back two legs are at the best. So now we're introducing Duke to the garden, letting him understand that this is his new land. The other dogs are out, not free. They can see him and they're getting used to seeing him in the garden. Duke's not bothered by dogs, so he's there more interested in the work. So it's important to slowly introduce these dogs, even though they're kicking off at him, it doesn't matter. It's about them understanding that he's no threat and that he's just here to be a part of the family. And a slow introduction with some showing of obedience will take the edge off the dog. And then we're gonna do some bonding exercises with the family, get them to try some obedience. And all in, all in this time, the dogs are watching and seeing that there's another dog there. Maybe he's going out sniffing them, they'll come out after and sniff him, and slowly we'll put them all together until it works. What's your plan now? Um, settle him in and then we'll go to the pet shop. So the plan what we'll do now is <clears throat> we'll get him some water, put him away, leave him at least half an hour, 45 minutes, and then if you get him out after, then take him down and just feed him. Perfect. After yeah. feeding, put him away for at least an hour, bring him back out one more time, and then cool, just chill with him. Perfect. We'll yeah. be back, we'll do some work, we'll do some obedience with you. Can't wait. See how he's feeding. How have you found Duke settling in so far? Yeah, good. Good dog, easy dog. Um, 
Just needs to adapt now. The other two dogs will be a slight challenge. The girl not so much, the male a bit more, as he's a bit aggressive. Nothing bad, just old. And set in his ways, you could say. Um, but yeah, really good. I'm excited to go back later and see how he's doing. So fun for the rest of the day. Um, I think now we'll get some lunch and then head back and check on them, see how they're getting on. Do a bit more obedience, talk about some structure, go from there. Hey, you want mm, Was he just great? No, I'm sorry, I'm What's the plan now? Um, Revisit Duke. He's had his dinner. Um, that's how we're settling in. No doubt there'll be questions, always is. Um, things left to do with him. But it's first day. You can't ever expect much on the first day when a dog's just come out off an eight hour flight. Three hour trip to London. It's, it's a lot. So like your dog's head's gonna be all over the place. So now we're gonna demonstrate what Duke knows and what we've taught him and how we've done it. And then once we've shown what he actually knows, then it's about transferring that to the client. So the dog's used to doing it for me, but now it's about transitioning that to the client. And it's sometimes a challenge because they don't know the command, they don't know how to do it, and the dog doesn't have massive respect for the client just yet. So we're here to create that respect and create that bond between them and show how to work the dog. So creating respect around toys and food is very important and getting the dog working and understanding that. And it's about building a bond and explaining it to them. And it takes time. So tomorrow what we'll do then is, um, remember not to feed him in the morning, because yes. we want to work him. Um, but I think because Tony's, Tony's leaving, we'll do protection first thing. What's the plan today? Um, we'll do, first we're going to do some protection. I think we'll do protection first, and then we'll do, um, we'll come back, rest do protection and then do obedience. So it might be a good idea to maybe put the two shepherds away. Put them inside the house? Um, yeah, close the garage door so they can't see because I think it'll only aggravate them. Yeah. Because we're going to do protection work and... Um, they'll be on the phone. Yeah, what's going on? Got it. So I'm going to go outside. Yeah, yeah, we'll see you down here. the customer how to stand and have a fun round of protection before later on where we do um, some covert stuff but first and foremost teaching is the most important so it's safe for them it's safe for us and it's safe for the dog Like, oh, boy. Doesn't matter what he's doing to him. He's the bad guy. Okay. Good boy. Ah, super. Okay, stand still. Juke. Out. Good. He lets go. He's staring. If he makes a sudden movement, he attacks automatically. Okay. So at that point there, I just tell the dog, lock up. Juke. Out. He lets go instantly. Stay calm. Don't do anything. You'll be safe. Go to hit me, and he gets bit automatically. Whenever you want, you say the word, watch him. Yeah, good, watch him. Good, good, good. Now stay where you are. Good. Now his focus is on him, so it's important that you've got him at this point. Because even without the sleeve, he's going to grab him. And you say, good boy. Good boy. Yeah. Good. Now you walk up, pat him. Good boy, Duke. Okay. Now, in a moment, he's gonna look at you and say, let's tell him out. So when he throws him round, say, Duke, out. Yeah. <laughs> Give him a bite. Okay, good. This time I want the word to come from you, okay? Yeah, so just... Ready? Oh! 
Good boy. Good. Good boy. Perfect. Good. How did you find this first session? Yeah, it was high. It was very high. Um, it's normal. I got worked for a bit. Um, first session. I don't expect perfectness. Not when you're teaching and having fun. But it was great. Dog works great. It was clear. He outed. He comes back to close. Um, the main thing is, whilst on the person, he outs instantly. That's the main thing. The bit of barking in between, it's okay. He's just high energy. Um, the key is that he outs and closes and he bites when asked. And that's the most important thing. Search work we'll do a little bit as well later. We'll get him searching the garden. We'll do a long attack. Um, we'll do a few bits of fun after. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll set, um, we'll put all the stuff away. We'll put him in a crate downstairs, rest him an hour. We're gonna come back. You here again? Yeah, I'm gonna be here. Okay, cool, we'll do another good session. He's settled in, he's his house. We can do a lot more on the next visit. First visit's a bit chaotic, but by the time we come back, he's in your routine. He knows what's what, and we can just do a lot of work together. And he knows everybody, so he trusts you all. Hello, old boy. All right. I've got you an old warrior collar. Yo. I'm gonna go away. If playing on the swing and stuff, and and then he's gonna come out from around the back of the swing. Oh. So we're gonna do like a little scenario type of thing. Awesome. Yeah. yeah and we're gonna do it with a covert on and everything else. Awesome. Yeah, it'll be fun. That's good. Now brace yourself, you're good, we're good here. So there's no equipment involved now. You're gonna give him a miss. Good. And again. How did you find that, Joe? Yeah, very good. Dog was incredible. You know, popped out. Um, kicked off straight away. Obviously, it's a lot more intense because it becomes personal towards him, um, especially now the family. Uh, the bite, the grip, everything was perfect. You know, the out was perfect. The re-attack was perfect. Couldn't have gone any better. So, yeah, happy. Very happy. Back. Back. Good. Close. Close. Close, close, good. Down, good. Close, that's good. Close. So that's cute done. Yeah, it's a lot done in 24 hours. 24 hours, what do you say? Less. Less. Didn't you get a yesterday day, night? Yeah, less than 24 hours. Two rounds of protection, two rounds of obedience. It's a lot. He's only 14 month old. So um, it's a great start. It's great foundation. Look, we're, we're, we're halfway across the world. We have to do something with them. Um, but we'll be back in January to once he's settled and once the family are more comfortable with him and we could do a lot more. The dog will be a lot more chilled and trusting of the family and understanding of who to go to at that point as well. Right now, you can still see in the obedience, you're like, who, who do I go to? You, him, who, her? But that's good. He still performed really well. Good boy. We're going to revisit the dogs that we've already delivered. Yeah. So in Atlanta, we'll just revisit. So does it suck, you know, this part of the job now? This is the best part. No, it's the night because we've developed this dog in a kennel. Yeah. And now he's got a home and a family. Oh, yeah. It's the best part. Yeah. People always say, is it the saddest part? No, it's the best part. The saddest part is keeping a dog in a kennel. Yeah. That's no life. 
from even though it's a lovely kennel and we put so much love and time and effort in still a kennel yeah you know the lights go out the dog's on its own so it's that's not a nice feeling for me so that's why everyone takes dogs home as much as they can so the best part about it is when you have that dog in the family and it's got itself a forever home yeah it's got freedom it's got a beautiful house it's got a beautiful yard it's got a life yeah it's the best part Chris, do you know how far the uh, uber is yeah two minutes Oh, perfect. Okay, cool. Yes. Thank you. I appreciate nice that. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. It's been a nice pleasure. Thank you. you for everything. Thank you so much. No, Thank you for everything. And get my number as well. Oh, of Peter course, and yes. Tony. And if you're here, just message me. Thank do you use what? So do you use WhatsApp or? Uh, do you use WhatsApp or not? Uh, no. Use just normal iPhone text. Yeah. Just text I me. Message. Yeah, I message. Just yes. I message me, like Tony. Okay. And you need me, just ring me or text me. Okay. So I don't need help. He's doing this. What do I do? Okay. Don't leave it a week. Yeah. Because no. it progresses worse. Yeah. If there's a if there's a problem, one try video it. Mm -hmm. Two, tell me, and I'll be on to it straight away. All right, thank you so You're much. You're welcome. No thank problem. You. See you later. Okay. Thank you so much, guys. Bye-bye. Bro, thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much, Thanks for everything. Seriously. No, appreciate it. Thank you. Great meeting you guys. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, see you guys. Thank you. <laughs> He's always got the camera. Okay. <laughs> no, you too. See you all later. Thank you for everything. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. How are you doing, Sahel? Good, man. You doing good? Good. How have yeah. you been? Good, man. Nice good, to good. good to see you. Good to see you. How's it all so, going? You doing good, James? I'm good, good. man. Good, good. Doing great. Joe! Please Joe! Oh, nice Come, to in. Meet Come in. Come in. Come in. Come in. Come in. I was looking back on the video yeah. that we did. I watched it so many times myself. Yeah. Everyone loved it. It was great. It was great. Yeah. No, he's really settled in well. All right, Rocco. I'm your favorite, right? <laughs> huh? Mommy's upset. No, I'm happy about that. I'm your favorite. I don't feed I know, you. You got Daisy though. Yes, I have. The you. thing is, I, I take him for long walks, and yeah. he loves that. Yeah, I let him sniff. It could be very much to do with it, like the the male interaction he's had as well training. Yeah. It might be that. Yeah. He's, he's really relaxed with you, though, isn't he? Yeah, he's very chill. But we'll do some. We'll, we'll we'll do some protection today, and we'll do some later on. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. where that's where that scenario oh, look, happened. Yeah. yeah. So he'll went ice skating. Do you remember? <laughs> but your best recovery I've ever seen in my life. Literally went whoop two arms, held on to the lead and got up and carried on going like it was a, like it was a trampoline. <laughs> um, but then he locked on to I was hid down there. But he locked on behind there though, you couldn't see me. James is stood there with the camera. That him and Fabio says, Ellen and Fabio said, what, what the? <laughs> he looks happy though. You're up for doing some protection today? Yeah. Yeah? Good. Um, that would be good. And then we'll work on a couple more of the jumping exercises and we'll work on the vehicle one more time. Okay. And see how we get on. Yeah. So the white flags are where the boundary is. Okay. So. Oh, good God, I thought I was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought the speed he came down then, it'd have been. Oh, it'd be take you out. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it'd take you. <laughs> yeah, you'd go flying. So he doesn't. So obviously he's going to associate the beep. He hears the beep. Yeah, so hopefully what we're trying to look for now is. Right. I would act super casual. Right. He doesn't hear the beep and we should be all good. Okay. Yeah, I'll just practice crossing it. Good boy. Yes. Yes. Good. What's he got? Good. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's good. Good. Hey, close. Good boy. Close. Yep. Good boy. Close. Good boy. Yep. Close. Good. Yes. Super. All right. Close. Perfect. Yep. Hey, sit. <laughs> you did it the first that's time. That's good. You did that's it the good. first time. That's close. amazing. Good boy. Good. Yep. Ha <laughs> ha. So normally, he yeah. would not even gotten close to that area. Yeah. So basically, what's happened is, what you've tried to achieve, you've achieved. Okay. To some degree, but there's obviously a problems occurred because of it. So you've created an invisible fence right. where he can't cross, which right. he's now not crossing. 
but then it's caused the problem to cross it in general. Right. So now we just have to find solutions round, yeah. round what you like now. You don't want to go past it because he's scared right. of it. Yeah. So, yep, okay, good. So I, I make it quite high in energy, knowing that it's all okay. Yep, good boy, super. Okay. Look, he's yeah. it, it, a bit like, oh, is it going to go off? Is it going to go off? Right. But because I create a high energy, he's like, I don't think it is. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Good boy. Want to try? So it's your attitude. Attitude, yes. Yeah. And letting him know that it's okay. Say, good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Walk. Let's hey, go. Come, come on in. Good come boy. Yeah. Good, good boy. boy. Good boy. See? Good boy. Yeah. Good boy. Yeah. Good. He loves it. All right. Come. <laughs> Perfect. Try and coming back to the hill. Yeah. Same thing. Good boy. Good boy, come on, let's go. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. Come on. Ah, good lad. Good boy. Good. Good boy. Yep. Good boy. See, did you see the little bit of panic there? Yeah, yeah. That That's was all it. it is. The little bit of panic is yeah. like, oh, I'm getting close to that, but right. there's no beep. Right. And the good thing is, when there's no beep, you should know there's no shock. Okay. And that's going to come with time. Right. But all you can do at the moment is make the areas positive. Okay. That's it. You can just make it, okay, nothing's going to happen. We're good. We're good. Right. And reassure him that we're good. Well, he's done really good. Done good. Yeah. Took a lot in because there's a lot of mental stim. In an hour, you solved 90% <laughs> of my problems. Good. And that, <laughs> you know what's great about coming back? All the little things, yeah. that's what you're here to solve. Right. And big things to you are little things to me, but then <clears throat> we solve them together and then you've got perfect. Right. We'll rest him for a little bit, Sil, and I think yeah. we'll, we'll get into some protection maybe. Sure. Yeah. Let's do it. Handle him as normal, you'll stand with him, give him a bit of lead like last time, yeah. let him kick off, watch him, you stand your ground, okay. you're keeping you and him safe. Okay. Doesn't matter what he's doing, you're all, you're all about protecting your house. Okay. So you and him are working as a team, so no matter what happens, you're standing your ground, good boy Rocco. He's kicking off, what he does is irrelevant. The aggressor wants to come to you, that's his problem. Okay. If he wants to run away, great for him. Okay. If he wants to come and attack you, bad for him, right. good for you, okay? Right. And you're just working as a team. So it's. The key is to keep him calm. Right. Good boy. Let him fight. Good boy. That's good, Rocco. Good boy. Good boy. That's good, Rocco. Good. Nice and relaxed, Hill. I want you to say, Rocco. Ready, lock up, Joe? It was impressive. I mean, he's he's uh, he's a real deal, no doubt about it. Good. I mean, was that's what we wanted. Is <laughs> it was good. It was look. We went straight into a covert. We went straight into work. Like I was just saying to the hill. Then one of the important things was just creating a bit of respect for the out, right. which we've got. I've got no doubt in my mind this dog will bite someone right. if you tell him to. The one thing I need is to to know that he'll let go of them after. Yeah. That was good. Good Very session, good. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. And I'd say that's the second part of the handover done. Yeah. The next part, I think we can do quite a bit more. Yeah. I think the next part, we send him on some searches. Yeah. So sending him around the garden, send him in the drive, in the garage, in the woods, send him searching. But now I, now I know you've got a new perimeter. Right. We work out next time where we're yeah. going to go on the perimeter. Yes. What's the plan? Final day. Ten days we've done. I'm ready for home. Ready for home? Ready for home. Ready for home. Do it all again next month, eh? <laughs> What's the plan of action for today? Go, um, everything we worked on yesterday has worked today because I've been checking in with Sahil. Um, so that's gone great. Today we're going to go back and have a bit of fun in the protection. I'm going to create a little bit more of control, which I believe the dog needs. And yeah, leave it at that. It was a successful trip for Sahil. 
and the family. When we come back, we can progress on more stuff. So yeah, Atlanta, New York, New York, London, London back to home. Come on. I don't mind a haircut. James. Away for 10 days, need a haircut. Seems let's get a moment on the back. It's not what they've done to me. Oh well. Wow. We're just laughing. I went for a haircut. He looks good. And they've done some funky stuff with my beard. Next to me now he's putting polish on it and he's done some weird curves and now I look like Mario of Luigi and all. <laughs> I said, listen, it's an experience, isn't it? You have to, oh God, I just looked and I just saw these two laughing and I went, oh no. It was all looking so good. There it is. It'll grow back. Yeah. What's the plan after the football? A little bit of protection. Yeah. After football. That was good. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Go out! That's good, perfect. Sit. Sit. Way better. The out and his response to the team. Come on, Joe, give him a reward. Good. And away. Out. That was great. Great. I'm really happy with that, sir. I'm really happy with that. Yeah, that, was very good. that was, you know what we gained? We, we gained respect and good control. Right. Good, good boy. Yeah, he's crossing it, no yeah. problem now. Good, good boy. Good boy. I'm happy with that. Yeah, it was very good. He's good still boy. really focused on the person. Yeah. Didn't care about the equipment on the floor. At all. Good boy. Good boy. That was great. Yeah. Yeah, just what I wanted. So next time I know what we need to work on. Yeah, yeah. I think we did great. I, you, I think you guys did great. No, today you've done <laughs> today. I think today you were calmer as well. Yeah, yesterday uh, I wasn't. Yes, no, yesterday it's, it's a lot and we did a, quite a bit of serious stuff. Right. Today you've just come, you're watching the football, you're happy. Right. You haven't thought about anything. No. You've gone straight out into yeah. the work and you haven't even had time to process it. Right. So you've done way better. Yeah, today yeah. I realised I yeah, need you to keep calm. them low. Yeah. And yeah, it was different class there. I yeah. put no pressure on this line today. Right. I was only holding that for corrections. Right. <coughs> no, we did great. See, handling's a big part. Right. It's a big part of how how he works as well. Right. Good handling means he does better. Yeah, he was he was on it. Really good that I'm happy with that. Today was a uh, way better than yesterday for Rocco. Yesterday was more tested him, just to see if he'll, you know, make sure he's doing the job correctly. Um today was more about getting some control, making him respect the words from Sir Hill so the out command needed to be <clears throat> needed to be sharper and today it was perfect so I'm over the moon with that. Dog worked fantastic today and they worked better as a team 
the hill was way calmer and way more relaxed, which is a massive thing. Handling's crucial. The better the handling, the better the dog will perform with you. So it's very crucial to work with clients and make sure that they get better at handling and the dog will perform better. But great dog. That's the first protection session he's done since the last time we were here. And I think that was brilliant. I'm over the moon with that. Main thing is, look at him. <laughs> Family's happy, everyone's happy. Dog's happy. It's a successful, successful handover. Full stop, successful revisit. And yeah, I'm looking forward to come back and progress now. So the second part's done. <laughs> You've got to love him. Yeah, the second part's done. And on to the third. Well, we come back next year, into the new year, and we can progress even more. Crime's high round here at the minute. Even last night, someone got burgled again round here. So it's important to make sure this dog's on the ball. So like I say, another family friend of theirs got broken into around the corner. House next door got robbed. They're not getting robbed here. Not with this dog here. And if they do, God help them. Whoever tries robbing this house. So that dog will leave you in a bad way. That's a wrap. It's a wrap. We're done. New York, New Jersey. New York, Long Island, New Jersey, Atlanta, even Philly. Um, that was for dinner. <laughs> um, now Atlanta back to New York, New York back to London. Home we go. Like this is your last day on the planet. So what are you doing with your time? Are you doing something productive? Are you moving towards a goal? Making yourself better? Or are you letting time slip by? Wasted. You guys have an opportunity of a lifetime, and it's a short window. So why not give 120? Because if you give 120, it feels good knowing that I've run my own life because I gave 120. And was it difficult? Absolutely it was. But it was worth it. 